IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 5.3, and here we'll be looking at the use of fertilizers to increase crop yield. A slide, just a small overview to start with. Here's our plant, and we want to increase the growth of this plant. This is achieved in farming by the application of fertilizers to the soil. And these normally take the form of nitrates or phosphates and frequently a combination of both. Now these compounds go down into the soil and are taken up in the root structure and then moved in the transpiration screen stream up to the leaf and used in the leaf uh, for the construction, for instance, nitrates will go on to form proteins and the phosphates are involved in things like DNA and membrane structure. The fertilizers can be divided into two groups. There are the organic fertilizers and there are the artificial fertilizers. The organic group are produced from animal waste on farms and this usually takes the form of things like cow feces which is collected by the farmer often it goes through a process of decomposition and fermentation and forms what a compound uh, a substance known as slurry and this is applied to the fields giving the crop plant a supply of nitrate and phosphate to promote growth. The artificial fertilizers take the form of chemicals which are synthetically produced and two well-known ones are potassium nitrate potassium nitrate and ammonium nitrate which can be bought by the farmer and applied to the field they will go into solution in the soil water and this will release the nitrates which will also promote growth in the same way as it would do with organic uh, compounds. However, students should take a look at syllabus statement 4.16 and the concept of eutrophication, which is a problem which arises through the use of the artificial fertilizers and indeed on occasion through organic fertilizers.